Are you sorry for the hurt that your posts caused people? I take my responsibility for posting that. Some things that were questionable in there, untrue. Like I said, in the first time you guys asked me when I was sitting on that stage, I don't believe everything that everybody posts. It's a documentary. So, I'll take my responsibility. It seems like Adam Silver wanted to hear the word, I apologize, or in your mind, you said I didn't mean to cause any harm. Were you apologizing or did you not apologize? I didn't mean to cause any harm. I'm not the one that made the documentary. What, what are the specific things in the documentary that you don't believe are true and that you don't believe represent your I think uh, some of the criticism of the Jewish faith in the community, for sure. Some points made in there that were uh, unfortunate. Tyree, are you surprised that you did hurt people? Uh, surprised that I did hurt people? Are you surprised that reaction and some of the things that you did hurt people? Yeah, I, I think I can ask a better question. It's just, where were you when I was uh, a kid? figuring out that uh, 300 million of my ancestors are buried in America. Where were you guys asking those same questions when I was a kid dealing with, learning about the traumatic events of my familial history and what I'm proud to come from and why I'm proud to stand here and why when I repeat myself that I'm not gonna stand down, it has nothing to do with dismissing any other race or group of people. I'm just I'm proud of my heritage and what we've been through. And uh, the fact that this has pinned me against the Jewish community and uh, I'm here answering questions of whether or not I'm sorry or not on something I didn't create and it was something I shared and I'm telling everybody I'm taking responsibility then that's where I sit. So, you know, these same questions that you guys ask, me dealing with it as being a melanated pigmented person all around the world and dealing with racial biases against my skin color demeaning me because of my religious beliefs and I'm still sitting in the seat standing so uh, I take my full responsibility again I'll repeat it for posting something on my Instagram or Twitter that may have had some unfortunate falsehoods in it but I also am a human being that's 30 years old and I've been growing up in a country that's told me that I wasn't worth anything and I came from a slave class and I come from a people that are meant to be treated the way we get treated every day. So I'm not here to compare anyone's atrocities or tragic events that their families have dealt with generations of time. I'm just here to continue to expose things that our world continues to put in darkness. I'm a light, I'm a beacon of light. That's what I'm here to do. You guys ask me questions about basketball, I give you my expert opinion. You guys ask me about other things, I give you my opinion, and it's met with whatever you believe the perception or the deception is. You guys investigate my life every day, and you justify it by serving your own purpose, which I honor. I would like the same respect in return, figuring out just like anyone else. So please keep that same energy when we're talking about anti-other things, because just because I post a documentary doesn't mean I'm anti-Semitic. And it doesn't mean that I'm automatically standing with everyone that is believing in that. So it's unfortunate timing that we're in, but I'm glad that I could stand on the truth because I'm not afraid of these mics, these cameras. I used to be looking everyone in the eye and telling them the truth. And I'm proud of who I am. Any label that you put on me, I'm able to dismiss because I study. I know the Oxford Dictionary. You look it up, right? It's one of the biggest mistakes I had in being a kid was not knowing European or Western language until I started looking it up and understanding the definitions and why they say if you want to trick a black person put it in a book. I was wondering my whole life why they said that. Now I'm 30 years old and I know reading is a superpower because it helps me understand where I'm going and where I come from. It's like a tree with roots. Kyrie, the, the documentary listed among falsehoods, it said the Holocaust didn't happen. Do you Again, believe the Holocaust those falsehoods happened? are unfortunate. And it's not that I don't believe in the Holocaust. I never said that. I never, ever have said it. It's not come out of my mouth. I never tweeted it. I never liked anything like it. So the Holocaust in itself is an event that means something to a large group of people that suffered 
something that could have been avoided. No one said we had to practice racism. No one said we had to treat each other like garbage. No one said that I had to stand here today and understand that many people that come from generations 60 years ago, 40 years ago, enslaved some of my ancestors still spiritually, mentally, and emotionally, and it's still going on. And you guys are asking me respectfully to speak on something that was a documentary that I had nothing to do with. I didn't make it. So just please keep that same energy when you guys are addressing me. Kyrie, for the record, do you have any anti-Semitic beliefs? Again, I'm gonna repeat, I don't know how the label becomes justified because you guys ask me the same questions over and over again. But this is not going to turn into a spin around cycle of questions upon questions. I told you guys how I felt. I respect all walks of life and embrace all walks of life. That's where I sit. I think what people want to hear though is just a yes or no on that question. Yes or no. I cannot be anti-Semitic if I know where I come from. I cannot be anti-Semitic if I know where I come from. Kyrie, did you personally meet with the ADL? I was informed that they wanted to have a meeting.